Hey, good morning everybody. This is my X1 Carbon Bamboo Labs. Yes, this is another Bamboo Labs video, but I cannot tell you how great and how much I love this printer. Um, I didn't get it on Kickstarter. I bought it, I received it uh, a week ago and it's been printing nonstop. Um, I got it because I have all these bed slingers, even the Prusa Mark III S, and I can't, I couldn't print fast, and accurate, and precisely. And I'm building a Voron 0.1 and a 2.4, and I needed precision, especially printing out the stealth burner and other things. I'd never had a multicolor printer, and so far this AMS has been working good. Right now I am doing a torture test, a bicolor. If you've seen it on Thingiverse, it is the bicolor frog. I'm gonna open this up briefly. And hope you can see that. That's the bicolor frog torture test. Um, and I'm printing it with ASA. So I gotta close that up, make sure it's hot. But I have been getting perfect prints and it's just been incredible. The only issue or one issue that I had was I started printing this uh, frog overnight and it did in the middle of the night detect spaghetti. And so it stopped, it just asked me, hey, verify that there's no spaghetti. You know, if you look at the colors and the profile, I can, I can see why it might detect spaghetti because of the shift in colors and layers. But uh, I hit yes and it's just continued to print and it just looks absolutely beautiful. So, you know, I'm one of those ones that waited after the Kickstarter. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to throw in a thousand dollars just on a, on a whim and uh, possibly lose it. After seeing all the videos and, on the X1 Carbon, I just said, I got to pull the trigger, um, you know, give myself a birthday present. And I have loved every minute of printing with this thing. So I don't want to, I don't like making long videos. I'm going to continue to make some more videos. I've got, um, I, I think you've seen the Bijou video and then I've got coming up, um, this hypercube evolution. I started, I put this together about two years ago and then it worked okay, but then converted it into uh, linear rails and then kind of a trident, Voron trident, uh, tri-axis articulated Z-axis that has been working pretty well. So I'm gonna hit a video about that in a little while and you all take care. If you got any questions about the X1 Carbon, there's hundreds out there. I would say the questions about, the big thing that I had with the X1 Carbon is I get it. You know, the first thing you do is you print out one of the default um, prints that are inside the internal uh, memory but then I go to try to print something precise in ASA and I got to try to find the settings I said you know there's got to be somebody or some place that has the prime settings for ASA ABS and it's still a little sparse out there so um, I've been printing absolutely great with ASA I am using, and I spot the textured PEI, and so what I use is ASA, I print at 260 degrees, 90 degrees, I even use that on the cold plate for printing ABS and ASA, but uh, 90 degrees plate, textured PEI, and then using the nano or glue stick on the textured PEI, and had great, great uh, results with it. So everybody take care. We'll see you later.